Explorers, we're starting off today really early. It's four, or actually no, I woke up at four in the morning. It's now five in the morning. And remember if in, the, in the last video, I was like, oh, I'm super tired. I just got to Chicago, blah, blah, blah. Well, now I feel amazing. I got eight hours of sleep. I slept at 9 p.m. I normally never do that, so I'm I am sure ready. You passed out at 9 p.m. <laughs> no, yeah, I passed out. I was like, let's go get some ice cream. I just, did, I just passed out after. I didn't even get the ice cream. But right now we're grouping up. There's a bunch of us out here today and we're heading down to St. Louis to hit up, you know, two, three, I don't know, whatever, as much as we can before it gets dark. It gets dark at pretty much 4.30 now. You guys know I don't really ever film in the dark, so we're gonna get about, I don't know, maybe like nine hours of daylight, hopefully, and we're gonna just film whatever we can. Let's see how it goes. Nah, Josh, don't make assumptions. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, explorers. Here's the history on this. Super quick. It's not too much, so it's it's pretty easy. Uh, it opened up in 1915 at a comprehensive school, and then it was in 1986, I think, the, it merged into a junior uh, naval academy, and then it lasted until 2006 before this place closed for good. And what they did is they took this whole school and everyone inside, and they moved to a new location. And they just left this place sitting ever since. Now, I don't know why they would because this is uh, now a historic building. It looks amazing, it's huge. I, I just can't believe they just left it hanging. Uh, the school, like I said, um, when we get inside, I actually, I think, I think this place was actually even used in a TV show called Abandoned on Vice. Um, so I'm guessing, I'm the, obviously, I, I'll tell you right now, I'm not the first to be here, but still. We're gonna go inside anyway, we're gonna, we're gonna bang it out, we're gonna explore it. Let's get it, boys. We drove four hours, man, well, let's go. All right, just as I thought, it's pretty gutted. But we're all inside chilling. But there is some cool stuff here. Let's start off with this. Boom, already at the gym. Just walked in here. And it is huge. Damn. So much dust and mold though in the air here. A lot of graffiti. Everyone's been here. It's legit, it's cool though. course of the last pretty much five years maybe like 40 abandoned schools maybe 50 abandoned schools I'm not even sure but we have done so many of them and it's just there's always something a little different about schools and I think for this school it's the outside it's the historic building. I mean, it's, it's seriously amazing. It looks like a castle. Being in the United States, I see these sort of buildings, but that's only when I go to the, the UK and stuff. That's what this reminds me of. So, I mean, that's pretty much what's unique about this place so far. But, you know, they have their pools, they have this, they have that. But some of them are just so large, and it's like, why did the city abandon this? Or why did this even become abandoned? And it's just a curiosity that just keeps you going. And it's really cool just to explore them in general. I mean, this one's really cool. Yeah, so guys, this place is so big and there's a pool here and r &K is trying to find it to the point where he's just lost. So he's got to keep on going. So it, it, it is a big place. It's amazing here. I'm just going to, I don't know where I'm going. I'm just going wherever I want. I don't, I'm just going to, yeah, I am. There's my new way. I'm exploring. Let's go. Let's get it. This is horrible. I'm going to go over here. Freaking, it's the school from like Outlast 2. And all those, the locker rooms just start opening up. And then it just looks like the school from Silent Hill. Which I think I say that in like every video. Like, hey, Silent Hill, Silent Hill. But really, it's like a, such a big, not inspiration in my life. That would be really weird to say. But I just really like Silent Hill. Hey, what the heck? This looks actually not too bad. Let's go, let's, let's go inside one of these classrooms. I can't even make it in, the door's locked. What the heck? It's, oh, it stopped because of this plank. Making it up from the other side. Well, we're at a different classroom, but damn. I mean, talk about destroyed. You know, guys, like I said, this place closed in 2006. It's pretty wrecked.
It's so therapeutic though, just being in here by myself. Well, as of right now, everyone left and, you know, walking around this whole school. So it kind of makes you feel like you're alone. So mentally, I still feel safe in here, not really scared because I know my boys are in here, you know what I mean? But being in here by myself, literally, I guess I'd be a bit freaked out. But I have no worries just walking through here. You know, a lot of people get freaked out, maybe. Some people get scared. It's just, to me, it's nothing. Oh, look at this, freaking cafeteria. I wouldn't even have thought of it like that. Let me brighten up this light. Pretty decent cafeteria. I think even my high school was like triple this size though. It must open up bigger, unless there's two. The, one of the best things when you go to abandoned places is when you see like posters with the dates on them still. That's when it gets legit. And you could just really get a feel like, yo, this, this is crazy. You know, the posters are still up here and you know, anything relating to the place is still here. You know, that's what I really like. Oh, it just cuts to the other side. No, maybe they get their food and they come over here. Cause where are you gonna sit? Why is it? All right, here we go. All right, now we're talking. I'm like, this has got to open up to be bigger. Seems like they were serving some good stuff out here though. My pizza in my high school tasted like cardboard. Yo, this is actually huge. Dude, mine was never this size. It goes all the way down there. Look at this. Now imagine, like now there's like another hallway down there, hallway over there. Then the hallway I was looking at over there. I don't even know where to freak to go. I'm just gonna go through here. <laughs> now, I do want to find this, the pool also because I've seen a picture of it. So, I, I just gotta look around. What is this? Oh, it's tape. Can you guys see that on here? All right, there you go. I'm like, what is going on? So a bunch of my friends and I were talking about how schools are the most destroyed places that are abandoned in the world. And we think it's just because of like how everyone just hates school. So when they come here, they just see tons of papers and lockers and there's never really security or anything like that or crazy at abandoned schools. So it just seems like people just want to smash them up and it's more of like a like maybe like a subconscious yet mental thing where people are just like, I hate schools and they just have this urge, just wanna to come to these schools and punch the lockers or something, I don't know. But it was really funny when we were talking about it, but it seems literally true. <laughs> Max, where did you get it? There is a storeroom with thousands of these. Look, this is U <laughs> Wait. US Navy right here. All right. And it's got these like hats, except they're unfinished. Okay. I'll just, uh, yeah. I'll just guide me there, guide me there, bro. Have you found the library at all? The library? I'm just assuming there's a library here. This place has everything. Yeah. I mean, the hallways are are not, dude. It's real. I mean, it's really crazy. On 2006, it's it's still just super destroyed. Yeah. Oh, dude, this auditorium. Yo, actually, all right, we'll go in there after. I want to see where all these uh, outfits are. Yeah, this I love, dude. I just love exploring, man. I don't know what it is. Yeah, I can do. I explore a hundred schools. I'll I'll still get amped going to see a new one. It's it just really like it's huge. It's all bricked out. <laughs> Oh, I just didn't find that auditorium yet. Oh, dude, hey, the pool! The pool, hang on, we have to stop here real quick. <laughs> the auditorium will come later, look at this. Yo, this is sick. Oh, dude, look at that. The freaking, that's where the water's coming out of. Let's go closer to that. Y'all, if you don't forbid, see, there's times where graffiti works, and it works here. This, this is really cool. Let's go over there. And it's super deep. Man, if I fell from right here, I'd get really hurt. We have to scale the wall right now. What is over here? Is this the stage? Yeah. Oh, what the heck? I was like, yo, what the heck? I didn't know this was a stage. I'm walking through the hallway deciding which way to go. I just walked through a stage. 
No, I was at a, I, I was looking for you. All right, yeah, yeah, definitely. This is huge. Dude, this auditorium is a freaking gym at the same time. Look at the basketball hoops. It's that big. I've never seen one like that. Yeah. We have a freaking combined auditorium slash gym. That is a first. Another gym? Yo. What the heck? This is sick too. This whole place is awesome. We've seen one gym, then this other gym, then an auditorium theater with another gym. You can't go wrong with this. Yeah. Oh, what we were actually looking for? Yeah. All right, finally. Back to, resuming back to where we first were trying to find these outfits. Yeah. Are we ready? I'm ready. The moment we've been waiting for. Well, dude, I see a bunch of boxes with all their boots and everything. Yeah, but there's a bigger one. There's a bigger one? Yeah. Look at that. All their shoes. Jackets. Look at that. I mean, literally, brand new. All right, I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> What's up? section right here and then there's oh my part god in there. yo guys yeah has a navy right now look at that Explorers, this is literally the last floor of this huge school. So we're just banging this out quick. We've been here for like three and a half hours. We have one more spot we want to do today. And it's gonna be a really good spot. Oh wow, it doesn't dude. Yeah, it's like huge. Just one big long building. Yeah, we found the music room. Oh that is I don't even want to walk on that floor. It's like sinking. Go for it. Sand. Sand. No way. Yeah, this is sick. Oh yeah, look at that. It's falling in right there. It's caving right in. That's cool though. Mine's of like a room I seen in Chernobyl. Alright, explorers, we had a long day so far. We spent three and a half hours in here. It's snowing a little bit. We woke up at four in the morning. We had to drive four hours to even get to St. Louis from Chicago. So it's been crazy, but it's been super fun hanging out with everyone. But we're about to end it here because we're not actually done yet. We're actually heading to this cool mausoleum and it's gonna be super sick, but that's gonna be on a separate video. You just gotta check it out. It's probably, it's pretty much part two of this little St. Louis trip. It's, a, it's like a series within a series right now. We're making it happen. Behind the scenes. I love you and all, but I'm trying to, I'm trying to sabotage. I'm it. trying to make a movie, Max. <laughs> Shh, I'm trying to sabotage RNK's channel right now. He doesn't know it though. That's why I keep walking in a shot. This is legit. When a whole bunch of YouTubers film. Yo, I'm doing my outro. My outro? I'm doing my outro right now first. Okay. Oh, I'm doing You're doing yours first. No, Max said he was gonna do his first though. This is getting too crazy now, guys. I don't even think I want to film no more. Admiral Max Power commands you. I don't know. Let's film our intros right now. Yo, we should. Yo, let's still go in RK shot again. Come on, let's go. Go in RK shot. Let's go. Let's jump in this shot. Yeah! You can go off my old shit, bro. Yes! guy right here.
<laughs> no, I'm sorry, I had to do it. No, we're all watching you, bro. We're all <laughs> Please don't talk to Admiral Max Power like that. Yeah. <laughs> Eddie Soldier, <laughs> insubordinate. Yeah, the so only problem is, is that Payback is such a big. It's Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, Max. What, that yeah. I keep walking in his shots? I yeah, told you. I'm, I'm trying to sabotage his channel. Dude, this is crazy. <laughs> Alright boys, this is a long putt scene. I don't know what's going on. So who's down for food? You? My boy. Oh!